G'day, Brian Bullock, horticulturist here, and I'm in my hydroponic greenhouse. And uh, I've been away for five weeks hiking. While I was away, my dear sister and also my wife looked after the garden. And here's the result while what they've grown while I've been away. So I come back and uh, the tomatoes, there's uh, 14 tomato plants down here on this side and I'm growing these on the lower and lean technique and this, so I'm just growing one single stem from the base and then training the, um, the vine up uh, this string and then when it reaches the top I just uh, unwind one of these loops and move the um, move this across one so some of the tomatoes are uh, right at the top now and I've, moved, I've uh, let them down and moved them along um, and um, they're all growing pretty well the ladies have done a great job and take care of everything they're all supposed to be cherry tomatoes but some are uh, larger uh, larger sort of tomatoes which is great because I couldn't I, I just bought some plants this time and I couldn't um, get because it's winter here I couldn't get anything other than um, uh, cherry tomatoes at the time but they, these would be great we, they are great we've got some tomatoes coming on uh, oh, we've been, well my dear wife has been eating them even before they get to the kitchen so there's plenty of trusses and uh, there's some ripe ones here which she'll probably eat and um, so there you go these are recirculating dutch buckets and I run these 24-7 and the EC around about um, between 1.8, 2.2 even up to 2.4 and the pH around about 5.8 to 6.2 and then so expanded clay, a um, 3 inch net pot to stop it from blocking this hole, drill this out as much as possible, bring this out, I always put a short piece here so that if the roots do block it, I can just pull that out and then clear the roots in there and then put that back together. And then that comes down. You can see that white pipe that's returning in this 40 mil pipe. And um, that's on an angle so that, um, so that the return works. So that's all good. And then uh, on this centre um, two level system we've got um, broccoli cabbages and um, cauliflower and there's some silver beet over there and, and these are um, these are celery here so they're all going pretty good and this is running on the same pump so two drippers in each always just use two of um, these threaded barbs in each um, in each bucket in case one block while you're at work and you've got you know more chance that everything will be okay in case you know you're at work or something and, um, and it blocks you don't want the plants to be running out of water see like this one this one's a bit blocked here so i'll clear that later on let's clear now so colored colored um chard and silver beet there and they're all looking pretty good and then over here, this is this is a uh, pipe system. It's not NFT. It's a pipe system. So it's a little. Uh, you can see there's about 30 mil of water in the bottom. So these pots are just touching the water. And um, these are running on the same. These are all running on the same juice. So these are um, iceberg lettuce. And. I think the icebergs are doing okay. They take a little bit longer to form up their heads as um, what these other kind of lettuces take, say four weeks from planting. These take a little bit longer. But they've already been eating some and, and we've got, so we've got icebergs there. They're looking pretty good. So they're cool. And these are um, a minuet lettuce here. And they're, you know, we're eating these now. We just went and um, exchanged some for eggs with the egg lady. And then here um, we've got some peas 
what I'll do is I'll just put a trellis up on the side here, just a mesh trellis, and grow them there. Here's sweet basil, ready to go. Here's sweet Dawny, who's looking after the garden. <laughs> and our spring onions here. Um, these are some older spring onions we had from before. These uh, pots are empty at the moment, so we'll replant them. Uh, these, are, I believe, are, um, look like butterhead lettuce to me. A coriander. A celery act, I think they're called in the USA. Some more spring onions that are like a few weeks later. Uh, pak choy here. So these must have went in a week ago. They're looking pretty good. The roots are down. Everything looks happy, nice and green. So this system, um, so the pipe comes from the pump. I mean, from the reservoir, it comes up here, runs through this pipe all the way to the end. And then comes in, and I've got two, two of these um, little sprays in each, and then a second layer, and I'm gonna do a third layer down there, I just haven't got that built. So, so that's how that goes. Let's see, two, two, two little drippers pouring water in there. I don't know how many, but maybe just, um, four liters a minute. Two liters a minute out of each, I think. So they've done a great job of looking after this while I've been on walkabout and everything's going really well. It's, it's uh, almost winter here, so late autumn in Perth. And then, um, so this flood and drain table, I didn't get time to get it finished before um, I went on hike. So this is gonna be, um, I'll set this up the flood and drain table here. And again, I'll use that uh, five millimeter or quarter inch uh, blue metal as the media. And we'll go back to growing radishes and carrots and stuff in there. I'll, I'll just show you where the, um, where the reservoir is. So this um, tunnel house is from Shelter Station. And it's got a waterproof plastic cover, which has got a fabric weave in it. So, here's the reservoir, it's a 200 litre drum, which I've cut the top off and um, buried it. So it's got a, um, 3,000 litre an hour pump in there, and uh, it pumps up, split to each of those um, different systems, and it's also got a line at the end so that we can um, we can uh, drain off when we want to change the nutrients. And then here's the return line, so the furthest return line from the Dutch buckets that's got a that has the um, tomatoes in. And then the middle one is from the middle line, and then this one here, the last one is from the um, pipe system. And I'll put um, stockings, women's stockings over the um, return line, just to catch any swarf and dust that comes back. Rather than put something over the pump, which is sort of, you can do that as well, you can put a stocking over the pump, just to keep any dust out of the system. I mean, I've just got a piece of shade cloth that I'll just cover this with. And then, I've just got that lid there. I need to finish this off. I'm gonna uh, concrete all this in and uh, get that finished off when I get a chance. Also, Dawny's been caring for these desert roses that we started by seed in, uh, about um, January, I think, which is summertime here. Now, what we're doing is they're in cocoa, peat and perlite, and what we do is we only water them when the weight of that little pot feels like it's um, almost dry, because these guys do not like being too wet. So we've got um, another system over there to 
we're just watering these by hand, so there's more over there. I don't know how we'll probably get about 400 plants, I don't know. And we'll grow these up and we'll sell them. So all good. <laughs> 